a game where you kind of expect those things to happen after a big break. Even though we had a couple of practices, um, Alex Elder did a lot of different things that, that we had to adapt to, and, and so I, I was I was relatively happy with with that. How they showed us a lot of different things, and, and we seemed to adapt pretty well. Jordan Fitting did a great job. She had to play some post. She had to play some point guard, and she did very well at, at both of those. And so we're we're seeing some real growth. In the you know, uh, again, Kenzie Summers went in and, and got some big time rebounds and, and, and some good shots for some critical time. And so our younger players seem to be really learning a lot. And, and uh, to be able to win a close game like that, that's that's huge. From, from these games and the main thing we need to learn from that game is quit fouling. I mean, they're not even going to probably be in the game that first half if they don't make 15 points just from the foul line with the clock stopped and, oh, yeah. and giving them a chance to get rested up and, and take away our, our, our pushing it down the floor and our aggressive defense. You know, we just got to move our feet and quit fouling so much. It was a great team effort, you know, from start to finish. I didn't see anybody complaining if they weren't in, and everybody wants to play, you know. And uh, also, I was so proud of the girls. The first half, Box Elder was just flat out not going to let Alyssa score, and people step up and, and make shots and show us that show people that we're not just a one-dimensional team. And I thought I was so proud of the girls for stepping up and doing that. Especially where we went down there and got up on them early, and then they come back and beat us. Uh, that, that was exciting for the girls to, to beat their rivals and, and to be able to, you know, come off the Christmas break and with, with a with a win.